What's going on? Welcome on into the TC Trading Channel. We're going to be talking about how to trade micro e mini futures on TradingView. So, right now, we are looking at the micro e mini SP 500 index futures for June 2023. We're going to walk you through exactly what you need to know and exactly how to execute your trades and how you can execute your trades here on the TradingView platform. Yes. TradingView is known as a charting platform. We can do a lot of research. We can do a lot of charting. We can save our charts. We can send our charts out. We've got plenty of videos here on the channel already under our TradingView playlist that cover a lot of those different things. But what about trading on TradingView? Seems like a revolutionary concept, right? But actually TradingView has started to build out this feature where you can connect brokers to their platform and then trade like you'd be trading on your brokerage account, but on your trading view account. Okay. Kind of puts it all in one place. And I think it's awesome. So today we're going to show you how to do that. So really quick, we've got some videos going over how to connect brokers to trading. View. We're going to walk you through pretty much step-by-step step what you need to do. First things first is you have to have a broker that is compatible with trading view. If you go to the bottom of your screen, you'll see an option where it says trading panel. Okay, under the trading panel, which is down here at the bottom of our screen, we click on the trading panel. Then we're going to increase and maximize the panel. Okay, once our panel is now maximized, we're going to have brokers. Now you can actually have a, there's a much larger list here, and I'm imagining that this is going to continue to expand and grow over time. Okay, so I've got a couple that I use and I have starred them at the top. I use Tradeovate. You can use interactive broker, you can use trade station and the really list goes on and on. Depends upon where you are, what broker you want to use, all that great stuff. We've got some videos covering a couple of these platforms, how to connect them and all. But realistically, it's self-explanatory. If you don't have an idea, we've got a video for that already on the channel. But you'll connect to your broker. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I am now connected to a live Tradeovate account. You'll see that little green, uh, little green, I guess, connected icon underneath down there. Uh, if you open the panel up, it'll show you your account value and all that good stuff. Now we're going to actually go ahead and trade. But first, before we do that, let's understand what we're doing. So in terms of the micro e-mini futures, there's a couple specifications that you should be aware of and feel free to screenshot this chart right now. So this is the micro e-mini S&P. E-mini NASDAQ, Russell, Dow, mid cap, and small cap, okay? Now, there are different names. There are different ticker symbols that you'll need to be typing in when you go ahead and do this, okay? So for example, we're going to use the micro E-mini S&P, which the contract uh, code, the product code is MES. Now, we cannot just type in MES, which stands for micro E-mini S&P, we can't just type that into trading view and then just trade it. Okay. This is where people are going to have questions. So if I were to go up here and I type in MES, what you'll see is micro E mini S and P futures. Cool. Great. Okay. Now we can't just trade this. Why? I have to go down to the drop down menu. And at the time that you are looking at this, it could be any time of the year. And so you might be on to a different futures contract, but right now it is March. It's late March when I'm filming this video and the next or the closest expiration contract would be June. So that's this, the June 2023s uh, would be the next closest expiration. And so I will be looking at these uh, to trade. You can't just trade MES. You have to trade a contract with a date attached to it. Okay. So make sure you're paying attention to that. And every couple, of, every couple of weeks or months, realistically, you'll come in and you'll just adjust and you'll move on to the next uh, monthly expiration or the next expiration, right? So there are five months in the cycle for the uh, S&P, NAS, and the Russell. Uh, we've got March, June, September, December, and March, back to March. So that's kind of the cycle, the quarterly cycle, okay? Keep that in mind. This is a good screenshot to have. Uh, you'll know it gives you information as to how much a tick value is. Uh, which we'll talk about a little bit more, but for the S&Ps, it's 125 per contract per tick. So what does that actually mean? Well, okay, now that I've selected my June contracts, which are these right here, what that means on the right-hand side of the uh, on the price axis, we have 3982.50, 3982.25, 3982.50, 3982.50, 3982.50, 3982.50, 3982.50, 3982.50, 3982.50, 3982.50, 3982.50, 3982.50, 3982.50, 3982.50, 3982.50, 3982.50, 3982.50
or 3982.75 would indicate a $1.25 move dollars out of my account up or down. So let's say I think that we're going to go down, okay? You'll see how this works really, really quickly once we enter a position, okay? And I think that we're gonna go down from where we are right here down to let's just say maybe down somewhere into here, okay? And I'm gonna target down around this 39.77 and we're currently sitting at like, let's say 39.82, okay? That would be about a five point move, okay? And inside of the five point move, there's four ticks per $1 or one point, okay? So that would mean five times four, okay? Five times four, what is that? That, my friends, is 20 points. 20 points times $1.25 per point, okay? 20 times 1.25 is $25. So a five-point move or a five-dollar move on the micro mini S&P futures would equate to $25 of a PL swing up or down in my account. Okay. So keep that in mind. Now there are different uh, margin requirements and here's another margin requirements for the micro mini futures. If you want to screenshot this, you can make sure you fit, pay attention to your brokerage platform and, and whatnot to when it comes down to this. Um, here's some margin offsets. Again, if you've got a couple hundred dollars in your account, you'll be fine most with most brokers to trade this no problem and you shouldn't have a problem uh, executing trades. With Trade Ovate, uh, you can trade, I believe, I believe the number is as little as 50 bucks in your account and you can actually trade a contract. Uh, but there, I believe you may have, you probably want to have a little more than that because once you hit, once you get down to 50, um, that's like the max, you know, the, the minimum level you can have. So they don't let you go below, and then they'll auto liquidate you once you go below 50 bucks. So you got to be careful with that. There's fees associated with that. A couple hundred dollars though, and you could literally start trading micro mini futures and, you know, five point moves are 25 bucks. You can actually get access to, really, if you do the NASDAQ, the micro mini NASDAQs, um, if you go back to this page right here, it looks like 50 cents per contract per tick. Sounds like, oh, it's cheaper. It might not move as much. Actually, it does move more um, as the NASDAQ is more expensive. So a tick uh, actually, you know, isn't really that much. You know, many, many ticks you can happen very, very fast when you're looking, especially during, you know, volatile price action. So be careful. You can be up or down, you know, if you're starting with like 100 bucks, you can be up or down 50 bucks pretty quick, you know, during the day. So just be careful with that. You know, you want to have a couple hundred dollars, give yourself some cushion if you're just starting out to test things. That's how I always do it. Toss a few hundred dollars in, test it out. Yeah. Will you get auto liquidated? Will you have problems? Yeah. That's part of the game. It's really, can you afford, you know, a few hundred bucks? to lose a little bit once you're getting, you know, used to the platform, all that stuff. Or of course, there's always paper trading as well. Got plenty of videos on that on the channel. So let's go ahead and execute this trade. Let's say I actually want to go short. I'm going to go over to the right-hand side, the trading panel. Okay. Now I got this pulled up. It has uh, the contract that I'm looking at, has Tradeovate, the broker that I'm using. And then I'm going to go ahead and go with a sell. So market orders, limit orders, stop. there's all these different orders. I'm going to go ahead with a simple market sell right now, just get me in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a take profit and a stop loss. Now I can put the price points exactly that I want. I can change it to dollar amounts. I can change it to percentage. It doesn't really matter what I want to do when it comes down to it. But let's say I want to do a simple risk reward where I'm going to go and I'm going to risk. Okay. Or on my stop loss, I'm going to risk 10 ticks and I'm going to take profit at 20 ticks. Something just simple like that. A two to one risk reward simple. The dollar amount comes down to risking 1250 to make 25. Like that's it. Honestly, you could even do a simple, let's just do five to 10. Let's do a five to 10, just so that this might actually get filled while we're doing this video. Okay. Super simple, super easy to do. Uh, and I could be on the wrong side. I'm just doing this as an example. So now once we're in, we got our buy stop there. We've got our take profit buy limit here. When I cancel the orders, like I can cancel one of these orders. It's not going to cancel both. If I cancel the stop or the limit, uh, I can also move these around if I wanted to. Okay. So you can easily go ahead and do that and adjust your orders. You can adjust your take profits. You can do all that great stuff. So in this case, you know, for the purpose of this video, I might just want to, you know, zoom this in. Let me get rid of this page or that order entry, adjust my charts, zoom in a little bit. I might want to just take the profits, you know, if I have a, a little move in my direction, just for the sake of this video, uh, or I'll get stopped out. If we get stopped out, we get stopped out. But every tick against me is a point. 
we're looking at this red line. That's currently where my average is at, okay, where the red line is. And the price action, you know, will move and fluctuate beyond that. Okay, so this is how it works. The session has, uh, the, the prior day session has recently ended. And now we're on to, I guess, the next day. Uh, it is now 5.27 p.m. Central Time. Um, you can start trading futures at 5 p.m. Central Time, but there is a gap between 4 and 5 p.m. that you cannot trade them Central Time, okay? But you can trade them overnight. You know, this is something that's great if you are looking to get access to different trading hours. Some of that's great if you're looking to get access to market moves that are happening overnight based off of news or just setups or patterns that you are looking and identifying that happen overnight, right? So that's how it works. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below, but that pretty much covers how this works. Obviously you can trade, you know, multiple different tickers. You can trade multiple different futures contracts. This is just using the micro e mini S&Ps for this example, but it will work very, very similarly with others as well. And you can, of course, connect different brokerage accounts if you are interested in doing so, but we are using here Trade Ovate. Any links, resources will be in the description box down below, TradingView free trials. One last thing to mention is you will need to make sure you are up to date on the data that you have. So if you're trading these futures, you're probably going to have to pay additional money to get access to real-time quotes. So if I were to go up to my account and I were to go to currently my, or let's go to explore our plans here, I pay for the premium version of TradingView. So if you scroll down here, you'll see a bunch of options for real-time quotes. If I go to this CME group, E-mini included, and I wanna learn more, I can obviously find more information about this, but this is the plan that I would recommend, okay? So if I go to subscribe to real-time markets, for example, what you'll see is I already am subscribed, it's five bucks a month, but I am subscribed to this, okay? So I click on this and I will be subscribed or I want an OTC. Like you'll need to have access to real-time quotes for the futures contracts and the futures markets that you wanna trade. Just be careful, make sure you're aware of that. Um, but this is what I currently use and uh, it's five bucks a month as of right now. There you guys have it, thanks so much and we'll see you guys in a future video, peace.